Hey guys, welcome back to Mega Man X7. Oh. Well, why the fuck wouldn't I pick X equipped with light armor? I mean, I guess they gave you that option in X5, X5 and X6, so. Understandable. Oh wow, look at that thing. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Okay, I think I'm just supposed to run. Can't shoot. Stop it! Stop it! Damn it. Oh, clearly I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I'm dead, game. Wow, that took you a while. What the fuck? Okay, I forgot this was 3D. I'm sorry. My bad. I wasn't paying much attention. Ugh. I don't really have much to say that I... God damn it! Why is he do that? Ready? I'm really bad. What is going on? It's not the controller either. Like, I'm just being really bad today. I think I got most of my rage out in the last two episodes, so... I don't think there's gonna be much more, unless this game suddenly gets even worse than it already is. Okay, go! Oh, wait! Shoot! Ah! I hope that X8 isn't as bad as this game was. Shit, man. Chill. Dude. Chill out. I'm pretty sure this is the thing from the first, uh... The first X game, that thing that you, those things that you can kill in a Ready? armored armadillo stage. Oh boy, this isn't fun at all. Top down, huh? Oh god, this is weird. Man, X7 was trying way too hard to be good, and it failed spectacularly. Okay, I need the double jump. That's not cool, Jesus. You did a lot of damage. God damn, are you kidding me? This is not going well. This isn't even very fun. I'm just walking and trying not to die. Okay, thank god I made that jump. I thought I was boned when I did the dash jump. Okay, please kill the things that are trying to kill me. Uh, this is honestly not fun. It's not stupid. It's just boring. You're just walking. You're literally just running. And every now and then dashing. Like, dodging isn't difficult in this game since it's 3D. Like, you could pull this, this type of stuff in a normal X game if it were 2D, but you can't pull this shit when it's 3D. There's, there's just so much that this game was... God damn it! Where's it gonna put me now? Cause that, that took fucking age... Yes, retry the bloody stage. Okay, how far does it put me back? Tell me it's at least at the top down area.
Ready? Okay. Ugh. I'm not supposed to be trying to kill that thing, right? Because I don't think that's an option. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see why he spins now. I see why he spins. That's so you can't, like, get behind him. That makes sense. It's also, like, the top-down thing is not cool because of all these pits that they put. And you have to stay a cer you have to stay away from this guy. It's easy to fall in them, you know? Sorry, I paused it by accident there. Oh. I was I guess I was supposed to jump over the pit. Like look how close you have to stay. And you have to continue moving too. Honestly, the glide armor is the dumbest. Is absolutely the dumbest armor in the thing. I don't really know what it, it really brought. Like all the armors, you know, had something new that they added on to, to X, you know? X1, it was just, that was the first game, you know? X2, it brought in the fact that you could dash in the air. X3 had that dash function where you could dash upwards. X4 brought in that uh, hover ability. That's pretty cool. Like the little the jet boots. Those, those were, they weren't like necessary. Exactly, but they were they were still cool, you know. X5, X5 brought in the, the Falcon armor, man. That was one of the best armors. It brought in the whole. Uh, it had the uh, shit. It had that flying thing. That was probably the most overpowered of the bunch. Uh, this is where I died last time. What else? X6 had the blade armor. Blade armor was okay. The mock dash wasn't anything spectacular, honestly. Mock Dash was basically just an overpowered version of, uh... Oh, no, I can't get that stuff anymore. Nope. You missed it. Too bad. The game, it puts an invisible wall there. Couldn't get it to it. Not good. I'm gonna die. And then there was also the, uh... Oh. Uh... Well, shit. I didn't know I was gonna do that. Oh, are you kidding me? It brings me all the way back to the top down? Don't tell me. Oh my god, you're serious. You have to do the whole fucking top-down stuff again. That is bullshit. Why doesn't it just bring you back to the fight? Why did it bring you all the way back here? I mean, yeah, I guess the fight is easy, but this this thing is so long and tedious. Okay, back to talking about you know, good X games, or at least not bad X games. X6 had the blade armor. Like I said, it was basically just a version of the X armor from X3, except better. And then there was the Gega armor. Like, the Gega armor was amazing. God damn it. How are you supposed to make that with zero? Ready? And then there were the the two gimmick armors they had. The guy armor, which was It was okay. You know, it was basically just like a prototype for the fucking ninja armor. The shadow armor in X6. That armor was awesome. Like, you lost all of your abilities, 
that you got from the robots guys, the Mavericks. But it definitely made up for it. Like, guy armor didn't really make up for it. You know, it was defensive, but it couldn't really do much. Its attack power was nothing. You know? And you kind of need attack power. Like, defense is cool and all, but you're not going to get very far with just defense in these games. You need a decent amount of attack power. And the shadow armor. Shadow armor is awesome. Okay, the game doesn't give you nearly enough time to react to that shit. Ugh. I'm just complaining about the little things now. Okay, where... I don't know what happened there. I was honestly confused. They brought up one of those stupid little gaps again, and I failed. <sighs> this is terrible footage. This is awful footage. Like, it's tedious. It's, it's a terrible stage. Who thought this was a good idea? Because this was a terrible idea for an X game in 3D. Like I said, something like this could absolutely work if it was in a, a 2D game, but the fact that it's 3D, there's just nothing, it's boring. In fact, I'm pretty sure they did something like this. You could, this was basically an Armored Armadillo stage. This is the same thing from Armored Armadillo stage, you know, and that's what happened. But it wasn't a major boss, it was just a, a boss you could completely ignore. Maybe I can try to get those health items. So if I could get those to zero, that'd be really useful. Okay. Stop. Okay. Were the health items even, like, somewhere around here? I feel like they were, but I could be wrong. Please die. Thank you. Also, one of the one thing that this game added, and it continued, like this wasn't the last we saw of it was the fact that zero holds is... I should have switched. Ready? The zero just holds his saber out, like, all the time. Like, it's a lightsaber. You know? I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't like that. It's lame. The way he used it in X4, 5, and 6 was fucking awesome. You know? It made it seem cool. And this is just this fucking beam sword. And I guess that's all it ever was, but the way he used it in those games was awesome. Al although, does he use it like- no! In Zero, they- in Mega Man Zero, they, they fix that shit. He uses it like he did in the X games. How are you supposed to dodge that? Luck, honestly, that's all it is. It's just luck. That's how you dodge these things. Just, I want to try to get through this zero because I feel like defeating him with X will be a lot easier. Okay, fuck it. But then he does that attack, and it's honestly just luck. Okay. These... They made this just... Way too long. Honestly. It's too long. If I see that health thing, I'm gonna try to switch to zero and give it to him. Because... I need it. I feel like zero is slower than, than or no, X is slower than zero. It feels like it. So I 
feel like he's catching up with me as X, but with Zero, it didn't feel like that. Oh, I totally didn't switch. He's going too fast. I could kill those things. Wait a minute. I have a sub tank. I'm missing a sub tank. What the fuck happened to it? I have an idea. That did a decent amount of damage. Okay, he doesn't have a shield protecting him now. Oh, but that attack is invincible. Why wouldn't he be? Get on the screen so I can attack you. Stop it! Fuck you! Was that that whole stage? Was that it? I guess we're gonna get a cutscene now too. Shit, I need to go find that other, uh, sub-tank. Okay, I'll do that off-camera. No cutscene? It's gotta be some dialogue, right? Okay then, no cutscene. Cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like, press the like button, comment down in the comments sec section below, subscribe, you know? See you guys next time.